Greetings, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Uh, welcome to another one of those shows, man. We're just doing too many of them these days. Um, we're here to announce, passed away late yesterday, the death of Gary Rosington, the last surviving member of Leonard Skinner, founding member of Leonard Skinner. Now there are no more. Gary Rosington, born December 4th, 1951 in Jacksonville, Florida. He passes away on March 5th. 2023 at the age of 71 the great gary rosington from leonard skinner yeah it's been a tough week right we lost wayne shorter you heard from me about wayne a few days back we also lost david lindley all right i'm not overly familiar with david or his music but uh, another notable passing this week uh excellent guitar player and now gary rosington so of course we we know the whole history <coughs> of Gary Rosington and Leonard Skinner, right? Of course, this great Southern rock band formed in Jacksonville, Florida, in the late '60s. They burst on the scene in the early '70s and pretty much were one of the shining lights of the U.S. rock scene throughout the decade, on a trajectory to the stratosphere, and then, of course, interrupted by that horrible plane crash, which took the life of uh, Stephen Cassie Gaines and. Ronnie Van Zant and basically broke up the band. The rest of the guys survived, had to deal with their injuries. Gary struggled with uh, addiction to painkiller medicine from the injuries he suffered in the plane crash, uh, but eventually, you know, got back on his feet, was able to perform music for decades after. But if, as we know, if you've been following the career of Leonard Skinner over the last, you know, handful of years, uh, he suffered a heart attack. He had open heart surgery. Gary has not been well, and lots of you know, a lot of struggles with with his heart in more recent years. And although an official cause of death has not been listed, you have to imagine it something having to do with his heart giving out because he has really struggled on the last couple of tours. You know, they've been on the farewell tour forever it seems, and uh, there were plenty of shows where Gary was not even able to perform, and they had to have someone you know, else come in and fill in for Gary Rosington. But uh, you kind of, you know, when I heard the news late yesterday, and uh, he passed away, I believe it was like late yesterday afternoon or early evening, East Coast time, uh, by the time I heard of the news, uh, I was, <laughs> it was a long day, I was already basically ready for bed and uh, very tired, and uh, then I heard the news, of course, I was really sad because I'm a huge Gary Rosington fan and Leonard Skinner fan in general, so I was like, well, you know what, the, the tribute's going to have to wait till first thing in the morning because I'm just kind of not in the headspace or you know to, to, to do a tribute at that hour of the evening, and uh, so thought a lot about him last night. And uh, got up this morning and felt, okay, I think I'm ready to talk about this. So, yeah, I mean, uh, a great player. Basically, he pretty much exclusively, like, I'm trying to remember if I've ever seen him play anything, whether me seeing them, because I've seen Skinner live many times, uh, either seen him live or seeing various photos and clips. I mean, mainly a Gibson Les Paul player. Uh, he had a 59 Les Paul, which he absolutely loved and that was kind of one of his uh favorite favorite guitars uh he had a name for it the name was bernice but i've also seen him play a gibson sg at times in, in photos and pictures and clips and things like that i think i've even seen him perhaps play a firebird you know, Alan Collins played uh, an explorer, and I've seen him on a Firebird as well. But uh, yeah, he made up the original guitar team in Skinner with Alan Collins. It was originally the two of them. Then, of course, you had Ed King coming into the fray. And then, you know, when Ed left, you eventually had Steve Gaines come in briefly uh, with the band before the plane crash. And then there have been many other people since, but he's been saddled up next to Ricky Medlock from. Blackfoot for many, many years. We also had Huey Thomason in the band from the Outlaws. So Gary has had lots of guitar partners since the band got back together in the uh, the late 80s. But yeah, he uh, he mainly played a Les Paul most of the time. Tremendous slide player as well. That's his slide playing on songs like Freebird. Great lead player, but uh, he was more of a, you know, it's funny because if you listen to and or if you read lots of interviews and books and things on Leonard Skinner and their history, 
they were greatly influenced by a lot of the British blues rock bands of the late 60s, early 70s. And Gary was a strong follower of Paul Kossoff from Free. And you can kind of tell in his playing, he had that really, really sweet vibrato, not the world's fastest player. He was more kind of like a gutsy player with lots of feel and melody. And again, that vibrato was just absolutely amazing. And, and so he, playing on Gibson guitars and specifically Les Pauls, uh, he always had, to me, that Kossoff feel, whereas Alan Collins was the kind of the flashier, faster player. I think that uh, Gary was more of, he played more, more like, more feel, right? Less less on technique and more feel, but a very, very capable player. Like I said, a great slide player, great mastery of the blues, and just those, those guitar solos, just, uh, yeah, just really, really gutsy and emotional with a lot dripping with uh, emotion and feel. So just to go through some of the Skinner catalog here, uh, if you haven't heard Skinner's first the Complete Muscle Shoals album. So this is all the recordings pre-pronounced Leonard Skinner. I highly recommend you check this out because it's got like early versions of some songs you know quite well, as well as some other assorted odds and ends here. So this is the early, early Skinner before they got the big contract and before they went in and made the uh, the first debut album. Here's where they, they went to Muscle, Muscle Shoals studio and recorded all sorts of stuff very early in their career. That's absolutely terrific. And then, of course, you got the you know, one of the great debut albums of all time, pronounced Leonard Skinner. Classics on here. I mean, Freebird, I Ain't the One, Tuesday's Gone, Simple Man. Great stuff on here. You know, Simple Man. To me, Simple Man is always going to be the definitive Gary Rosington song. I think Gary Rosington, I think Simple Man. So, like, one of the first things I wanted to do when I heard of his passing was to play Simple Man. Because I think it, it just, you think Gary, you know, he was kind of a simple guy. He was the very reserved, from, I've never met him in person, but I've heard from, heard from many people that just a really, really sweet, down-to-earth, mellow kind of guy. And, you know, his playing, again, talk about the, the simplistic nature in a good way of he was the less flashy guy. He was the guy who, you know, a few notes can say a lot of things. So Simple Man is kind of like his song. Simple Man's such a, it's got a great riff, right? Great guitar soloing that. Just awesome stuff. Then, of course, you got Second Helping. Another great, great album. There are the guys. Look at how young they look, right? Classic stuff on all these albums. Nothing Fancy. The great Saturday Night Special. And then one of the, for me, the underrated album in the early part of the catalog, Give Me Back My Bullets, which is just absolutely terrific. Double Trouble, Searching, love the guitar solo on Searching, Cry for the Bad Man, terrific stuff. The Amazing Live album, you know, if you're, if you're never really been much at the Skinner or collected their music or and you say, all right, well, maybe I should go out and get some Skinner now. Now that they're all gone and uh, maybe it's about time I pay some attention to their music, I would say, go get this. It's got most of their more well-known tracks on it. Blistering performances. you got the three-man guitar army of Alan Collins, Gary Rosington, and uh, Steve Gaines. Terrific renditions of classic, classic tracks. That's definitely worth getting uh, the album that came out right before the plane crash, Street Survivors. And then, of course, you know, after the plane crash, you know, a few years later, when they were well enough to go ahead and do so, uh, Alan and Gary decided to put together a band again. They decided to kind of let Skinner rest, and they put together along with uh, the other surviving members of the band who wanted to come along, right? You got the Rosington Collins band, along with Dale Krantz on lead vocals. Later became Dale Rosington Krantz, or Dale Krantz Rosington, I should say. Anytime, any place, anywhere. Terrific song. This is the way is the second song. That was the second album. That was the only two albums. So again, you've got uh, Dale Krantz lead vocals, Derek Hess drums, Gary Rosington lead and rhythm guitars, Leon Wilkerson on bass, Alan Collins, Barry Hardwood, and Billy Powell 
Billy Powell on keyboards, uh, Barry on lead guitar. So you got to, again, they, they went over, but they continued on with the three guitar concept. Although I would say that uh, the music of Rosington Collins is a little bit different than Skinner. You had those feels, but there's a little more soul uh, to this music, I think. And then, of course, you know, years later, they decide to regroup with Johnny Van Zant, younger brother of Ronnie on lead vocals and they decide to put the Skinner machine back together again they started all off with the 1991 album they continue on with the last rebel and a lot of the Skinner trademarks are here I mean Gary's playing throughout like the second half of the Skinner career uh, has been fantastic really fantastic again he's just he's got that sound that very distinguishable sound you got 20 You got The Edge of Forever. The first time I ever saw someone who Skinnered was on the uh, Vicious Cycle tour. Of course, because when I started going to concerts in the very early 80s, uh, Skinnered were not a thing. Never got the chance to see Rosington Collins, so I didn't start to go see Leonard Skinner till the 90s. And uh, it was right around, or actually the early, early 2000s? Yeah, I don't think I caught them in the early 90s, so this was the early 2000s, I guess, right? Trying to remember exactly when this album came out. Anyway, it was either the late 90s or early 2000s. It was a long time ago. And uh, I caught them on this tour. And again, this is where you had Gary alongside Ricky Medlock and Huey Thomason. So to, for, for me, it was pretty terrific because I'm a big Outlaws fan, big Blackfoot fan. So even though I missed out on seeing the original band, this was cool because you have these three guitar players who I admired so much up there playing together. you got Gods and Guns. Well, these are really strong albums, I think. And then Last of a Dying Breed would be the last studio release from Leonard Skinner. So, lots of stuff. Lots of, you know, one, to me, Skinner were always one of the most important guitar bands we've ever had in this country. And now, all, you know, the founding guys are all gone. You know, we still have uh, a few remaining members who have joined the band in various times but uh, all the founders are gone we lost billy powell a few years back alan's been gone a long time and yeah it's uh, you know obviously the plane crash happened we lost uh, stevie and ronnie and uh, various other people and it's 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 sad like i said uh, in my well what you'll haven't seen yet but uh in my album pick for today for albums that are 30 years old in 2023 the southern rock community has been devastated by deaths of its legendary members for years and when you really go and look at it it's amazing like you look at like the the classic molly hatchet lineup and charlie daniels band and blackfoot and leonard skinner and all these great southern rock bands so many of these legendary musicians are have are gone and have been gone for many many years i mean the the, the southern rock community just there, there's like this thing about it that uh, nobody really lives too long uh from these southern rock bands and it's just it's a real shame it's a real tragedy that uh, so many of them we've lost and many when we're talking going back to the 80s right so a lot of them didn't even make it out of the 80s in the early 90s so um yeah it's really sad but uh yeah so gary rosington leaves us at age 71 on March 5th, 2023, uh, he's up there playing with the rest of the guys in the band who left us in prior years. And uh, Leonard Skinner is reforming with the classic lineup now up there somewhere. I can hear that Freebird solo by Alan and that slide guitar from Gary playing off in the distance somewhere. So, uh, yeah, we'll miss you, Gary. We know, we know you've been struggling in recent years, and uh, hopefully you're no longer in pain, and may you rest in peace. And as far as like the rest of the guys in Leonard Skinner today, perhaps now it's time to call it a day. I think as long as Gary's been around, they could still do this. Uh, with no Gary Rosington, I don't know how much sense it makes. You never know. I mean, you, we've seen you know Molly Hatchet continues to go and tour uh, with no original members, so... and. So it's, you know, I guess never say never, but if I were the guys in Skinner, I mean, they've been on this kind of goodbye tour for what seems like the last five years. And I think now that Gary's no longer with us, I think it's time to finally say, all right, 
now, maybe now it's time we go and maybe do other things. But you never know. I mean, uh, Ricky's been doing a great job in the band all these years, and Johnny still sounds great. So I don't know, but I, I think it might be time. My now that Gary's gone, it might be time. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Please go out and listen to some Leonard Skinner today in celebration of the life and career of Gary Rosington, dead at 71. We'll miss you, Gary. May you rest in peace. And uh, Leonard Skinner forever. Take care, everybody. I am Pete Pardo. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.